Uh, hello, YouTube. Uh, I just want to show you uh, this 55 gallon uh, reef aquarium I've had going for about 15 years now, since I think around 2002. Um, and, you know, it's been continuously going uh, since then, so I think that's pretty impressive. You know, it's gone through a lot of changes, certainly over the years. I've had my share of problems. Okay, I had a power outage for several days that uh, killed some livestock. I've had hair algae outbreaks that I've had to deal with. You know, I've gone through about everything most people have gone through, but it's still going. Um, so I'll show you uh, what I have. You know, I think it's a pretty simple reef aquarium. I don't have any real fancy equipment. It's very uh, basic, and that's really all you need for most types of setups. So uh, equipment-wise, uh, it's just basically pumps. Uh, I don't have a skimmer. Um, so I have several pumps in here just to get a good water flow. I do have a hang on the back refugium, uh, which I'll show you real quick. I've had this refugium for quite a while. You know, it's, it's pretty old. And I just mostly have live rock in there for filtering purposes, uh, just to have more rock. Now since I don't have a, a skimmer, the, the point of this is to have uh, a low amount you don't want to have too many fish. You don't want to. You don't want to feed very much. So I feed very lightly. I just feed flake basically um, to keep things going, and that does seem to work. I mean, the only reason I've had problems occasionally, sometimes with uh, algae, is because it gets neglected sometimes for months at a time, where I don't do water changes, but it still bounces right back. Um, you know, I have to do a little bit of work extra water changes, uh, scrubbing a few rocks, but it always comes back. So this is more typical of how it looks most most of the time. Um, the lights, these are uh, compact fluorescents, uh, power compacts, I mean. This is 130 watts, so each side of a light fixture has a, uh, I'm sorry, there's, uh, there's 65 watts on each side, so it's 130 watts total. So this, you know, not quite enough light for hard corals, uh, which I've experimented with in other aquariums, but great for soft corals, as you can see. Um, so speaking of corals, let's take a look at what we got here. This coral here, uh, Devil's Hand, I've had, this is probably the oldest coral. This has been here, I think, since the very beginning of when I first started putting coral in this tank. So it's been here the longest. And as you can see, uh, the purple mushroom, neon mushrooms have spread, you know, all over the tank pretty well. They've kind of stopped spreading for now, but uh, they're they were pretty numerous. Okay, I forget what kind of uh, coral that is, but I got that within the last year, doing very well. This cabbage leather coral, really good basic coral, spread by itself, and as you can see, it really gets huge. Uh, Canyon tree, and I do have. Um, some uh, polythoas and some zoanthids in here. They actually died back a little bit because I went a few months without changing the water and let it go a little bit. And when the water quality suffers, that's what the first thing is to suffer, is those corals. So they'll come back, I'm sure. As far as other invertebrates, have a uh, emerald crab. As you can see, so I'm lucky he's out right now. Also have a uh, coral banded shrimp, which I've always had in here. He's probably, I think, the fourth one in 15 years. So they tend to last three or four years. Uh, I think that's pretty good for a shrimp. Also have, uh, you know, my share of uh, hermits. There's red legs and blue leg hermits in this tank. Um, I'm not sure how many are in here right now. There's probably, I don't know, there's probably around at least 20 or so, a mixture. Red legs and blue legs. And I have some, uh, Turbo Astra Snails. Most of these were ones I've collected personally from the Keys. When we go to the Florida Keys, I have some places I can collect them. So some of them are pretty big. If I could find one, some of them might be hidden. Huh, not seeing any right now, but there's there's several in here. Okay. As far as fish, as you can see, I keep this to five fish. I would not put more in here because again, I want to feed lightly, and that reduces the amount of maintenance you have to do. This three-striped damsel is the oldest one here. He's probably been in here four to five years. And I've had all kinds of fish in here over the years. I've had, you know, larger fish. I've had tanks. I've had butterfly fish. I've had uh, dwarf angels. 
all kinds of other fish, you know, for to varying degrees of success. This is basically the fish I've settled for because they're cheap, they're colorful. So I have, you know, tomato clown. I usually have a tomato clown in here. They tend to do well with these, uh, with these damsels. And yellowtail damsel, which I think is a beautiful fish and is a great fish uh, really for any tank because it's not as aggressive as other damsels are. And uh, like I've had yellowtails in a 10 gallon before with a small percula clownfish and it, it worked out very well. Okay, and you have the golden black, uh, there he's hiding on me, golden black chromis, there he is. Okay, and I also have the blue damsel. And damsels, you know, get a bad rap, but I think they do very well. And these, these fish have adapted to each other pretty well. They don't really uh, chase each other very much. It's a very, fairly peaceful tank. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So this doesn't really, again, require much maintenance. All I do is water changes when I get the chance. And sometimes it's hit and miss. Uh, sometimes I don't do it nearly as often as I should. But the, the tank keeps on going. You know, it's 15 years at this point. And I think that's pretty impressive. And, you know, I like how it looks overall. It's a nice tank to watch. Okay, so uh, I'll just let you look at it for a little bit. Now, if you... Uh, are interested uh, in supporting this channel or anything you want to buy on Amazon, I'll put an Amazon link in the description box because I'm an affiliate and I would support the channel because it doesn't cost you a penny more. I'll let uh, close out with just about 30 seconds of quiet time uh, on the tank. See you later. Thanks.